In this lesson, we're going to learn how to sort our results. Here you can see where I have a query where I'm selecting the first name from the person table. And in the results here, you'll see that they aren't ordered in any particular order. Now if I wish, I can use what's called the order by clause to order a column. So I'm going to order by first name. And now when I run this query, you'll see that these first names will be sorted in ascending order, meaning they go from small to largest. Ascending means to go up. So we're going from smaller values like A all the way up to values like Z. So if you come to the bottom of our query here, you're going to see where like Zoe is the last person. So when I sort using the order by, the default is to uh, sort in ascending order. And there's actually a keyword for that that we don't use because again it's uh, um, by default but here it is order by uh, first name ASC for ascending and when I execute that I'll get the same result. Now likewise if I want to flip the sort and actually sort from largest values to smallest I can sort in what's called descending order and I can use a keyword that's DESC for descending when I execute that, you'll now see that I'm sorting my uh, columns uh, from Z to A. So much like I can select more than one column in a table, I can also sort by more than one column in a table. So here I'm going to bring in first name and last name. And I can order by first name again. And you'll see I have the last name. But now let's also sort by last name. So I could say last name. And what this will do is sort the first name in descending order and then the last name in ascending order because I, I don't have a um, DESC on the end of it. And you'll see it goes Zoe, Bailey, Brooks onward. Now if I wanted Zoe Watson to be the first in my list, I could also do descending here. And when I execute my query, you'll see that's now Zoe Watson. So I think this is also um, some, good to point out that the descending qualifier works on a per column basis. It's not as if I have descending on the end here and it applies to both columns. It applies to the column uh, that it modifies. I'm going to switch gears here and show you uh, how we can also sort by calculated values. So I'm going to bring in a query that we worked on before which is the order detail and when I execute this you'll see where I get the um, order ID, unit price, and order quantity. What I want to do is sort on the total. So I'm going to put in here um, unit price times um, order quantity and say as um, total price and then when I execute this you'll see now I have the total price calculated so typically you'll want to sort on maybe the calculated value so again I can just do an order by and then do unit And I can sort by that expression. And then when I execute this, you'll see now I have um, total prices and they're in sorted in ascending order. I could also do descending order. And then I believe I can also take the total price here and just sort by this instead. So I'm going to replace the expression with the name we gave it here above and say order by total price descending and you'll see that it, it does the order because what it's doing is we have an expression that says order unit price times order quantity and we're going to say give that column the name total price and now I can use that below in my query to order the values and this goes back to the earlier lesson when I was saying that by using column aliases you can simplify your SQL. And here's certainly the case. 
because this is a little more simpler and robust than if I was to change the expression back. Because if for some reason I ever needed to change my math, I would need to change it both in the column and the order by to be consistent. Now where the total price, just having total price in the order would not make sense is if I was to do this, have the order by total price, which we know works, but for some reason later on, I decided to get rid of um, showing the total price of my result. Now when I run this, SQL is not gonna know what total price meant because there's nothing defining that column. So in this case, if I still wanted to just show the unit price and order quantity, but not necessarily the total price, but for some reason I wanted to sort by the total price, what I could do here is type in um, just the expression. And when I run this, you'll see now that it's coming back with um, the rows, and these should be highest to lowest um, by um, basically total price. And this serves to illustrate that I can sort by an expression even though that expression itself isn't part of my results.